The story is the 7-4 rookie sensation. There are no legit comparisons to Wemby. Time for Carmack's one-on-one, -on -one, and the uh, focus of that is the guy you just saw in that piece of video, Victor Wembanyama, number one pick. I had given uh, San Antonio about 20 a night, 10 boards, leads the NBA in blocks, Ooh. and uh, part of All-Star Weekend here in the Rising Stars last night where uh, he played for Pau Gasol, got beat by the G League team. And um, what? <laughs> you lost to the G League team? <laughs> you didn't know that. No, I didn't it's your know job that. to know that. No, I didn't know that. I wasn't watching <laughs> it's that. It's your job to know I, it. I was at the hookah Richard. bar, my boy. Yeah. I was at the hookah bar. <laughs> and, uh, and tonight in the skills competition, and uh, hey, look, it's been a pleasure to watch you this, uh, this first half of the season. Look forward to seeing what you do tonight in the, in the skills competition. But tell me about this. You just turned 20. Tell me about this uh, first year in the NBA and this, this first experience uh, being all over the United States, man. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. And uh, it's been a pleasure also to, to be in that court and experience this. I mean, all these experiences, you know, uh, I've learned so much in just a couple of months, more than in any little span like this before in my life. And it's, I mean, it's been just living the dream, you know, but it's been a lot of challenges. It's been hard, but I wouldn't want it to be easy. Kenny says this all the time, that we're products of our environment. I say that to say this. When I was your age, 17, 18, 19, I watched Patrick Ewan, David Robinson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. With all the skills that you have, who did you watch growing up? Man, I mean, I, the thing is, one of my coaches always said I never looked myself in the mirror because I've, I've been looking at guys that don't only have the same body as me. You know, I mean, nobody has the same body as me, so I've been watching guards, Steph Curry, LeBron James. I've been watching Yanis, KD, so pretty much everyone without ever wondering if I was allowed to do this because. You know, Victor, you, you, you talk about how difficult it is and what the challenges are. What has been the easy part? What has been the part, not even easy, the one you said, man, this part, I got that part. And when I came in, I, I'm a little surprised or oh, I knew I had it. Um, It's gotta be the, the competitiveness, you know, like, uh, it's sometimes hard to realize this is already the highest level basketball, apart from playoffs, obviously, right. in the world, you know, and it's like, no, I know, I just know I can mess with the best in the, in the sport now. It's, uh, it's a certitude. Before I knew I, I could do it, but I just had never met this much talent before. But now I know it's uh, like uh, I'm nowhere near, but on the right path, you know, to becoming one of the greats. You know, I said the toughest thing for you this year was going to be losing i says i don't know anything about the french league where he was part of i said but you, this is probably the first time in your life you ever lost consistently or I, lost when he played well well uh, yeah no but i'm yeah. talking about just losing so how have you been able to, do, to to keep your mindset and not let it bother you i mean obviously it's going to bother you but how is it adjusting to losing so i think actually this has been the one of the hard things you know this season um, not only losing, but because, you know, every game we still come on the court and we want to win. Like, everyone is locked in. There's no, nobody expects to lose when we step on the court, even when playing against the first seed or the 14th seed. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it's, 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 has actually been one of the most difficult things is to, to be ready to, for the battle every night, you know. And, uh, after that, to, you know, to, just get over it because we got another one tomorrow. We got another one 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So this has been uh, one of the toughest battles. And I didn't think this it would be a tough in the battle on the mental, mental aspect. I yes. thought it would be harder on the body. Okay. Uh, Victor, tell me this, because when you, when you make your NBA debut, you're a 19 year old and you've got the oldest coach in the league, Pops in his seventies. Tell me what the relationship's been like. What have you learned about Pop? What did you heard about Pop before playing for Pop? And, and what are your impressions? I mean, years back, obviously, you know, with uh, all the French guys who've been through San Antonio, it's, uh, 
I mean, I've always thought Pop was the best coach in the world, even way, way years before being drafted. So it's uh, I had high expectations, but he's, I mean, he's lived up to those expectations in my eyes because he's just been so. First of all, he cares a lot. He hasn't been only a good uh, technical, you know, analyst and coach and smart. You know, he's also been caring about me and actually trying to know me. The, like the first thing. The first thing he talked to me about it wasn't basketball. You know, he was trying to make me comfortable in, in my new, you know, new country, new city, new everything. What's uh, what's the what's the roughest he's been on you that he really got on you? Um, I mean, you know, when we talk privately, he knows I'm like I, I'm. I understand. I'm I'm smart. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best. You know, but sometimes he trying to send messages, and like uh, yeah, sometimes he, like. I remember maybe two, three months into the season, we were in film in front of everybody, and he goes like, "Yeah, what is this? Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is what you were doing day one. Why, why did you take? Why did you take a step back? Yeah. You gotta keep getting better." Like, so yeah, sometimes he, he sends messages. Like, this. Yeah. Uh, hey, like it. How, how much time? <laughs> Welcome to cable TV. Hey, hey. How much time? Did you, oh, I'm no, sorry. We're you're, good. You're, you're cool, you're man. Good. Don't worry about how it. How much time did you spend in the states before you got to the NBA? How much time? A month? Uh, no, like in your life. How many, how yeah, many times? A you, month. A, about a month? Yeah, I went, wow. on, I went on vacation. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the year, Vic. Eight months before. Okay. okay. Yeah. Vic, uh, has the great Tim Duncan and David Robinson came and had a conversa conversation with you and showed you a few things? And if so, what? I want to know what they showed you. Yeah, they did. You know, the first, actually, my first night in San Antonio. I've seen them regularly after that, but the first night, uh, t Tim... Dave Robinson, Sean Elliott, uh, Manu, they, they, they all have dinner with me. And it's, uh, yeah, they shared, they shared a lot, you know, um, about how the conditions were when they, where they were playing and how to, you know, overcome all the, yeah, the hard things, you know, during the season. And uh, I mean, but we just, we just talked and shared personal experiences, you know, that, that was really casual, you know. They told me about the time they didn't have a, a charter and they had to fly commercial to uh, I don't know how many CDs a year and like, I'll tell you about that brother. I'm the only I'm the only player up here who's flew commercial. <laughs> These guys all been private. I have you yeah. had one year? I okay. One year. Hey um, <laughs> look at this. I know you you spent some time with our social team yesterday and uh, we got a we we had the opportunity to hear Victor's uh, Shaq impersonation. Oh, oh let's yeah, roll good. this. That was good. Even I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right. Shaq has yeah, a great education. Yeah, go ahead. Because I told him I didn't want to get a, a certain vehicle because of the amount of gas I would have to spend. Yeah. It cost like $80 to fill it to up. Fill it up. Fill it up. And he right. said, then you said. When it gets a half, then you put $20, you bring it back to full. When it gets to half, then you put $20, you bring it back to full. But if I keep doing I would have to stop more often and still no, spend 80. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Why? You're complaining about when it gets to zero, you spend 80. You're complaining about when it gets to zero, you spend 80. When it gets to half, you put 20. And when it gets back to half, you put 20 again. And it'll be cool. 80, Kenny. the same amount of gas. Kenny. I'm Kenny. driving the same amount of gas. Kenny, the average shooting stops once a week for gas, right? <laughs> but you, you only work in twice. You would probably have to stop once every two weeks. <laughs> Don't even try. The average Why isn't he human. laughing? That's the, that was the funniest part. The average it's human. It's called top it off. So y'all, y'all, y'all. Top it off. So, it's called mouth. This is why my brand is here, and do you guys take, are down do there. Do not take this advice from that's, that's, from doctors. It's called miles per hey, gallon. Yeah. It's called top it off. <laughs> Get an electric car, Shaq. Yeah, people know. Yeah, you top it off. Uh, hey, what are your what are your teammates oh, called? Oh, look at that there, they right call there right? you, they call, Do your teammates call you Wimby, or do they got another name for you? Marilyn Dubinsky. I don't remember. They call me Vic. Vic. Yeah, more, more Vic. Sometimes Wimby. We appreciate you very much. I never it's felt that. Yeah, you guys. Guys. That's right. so fun. Good. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Tell hey. Bona I said, what's right. up? Look at little oh, fella, man. Hey, little man. Dwarfing. Little fella. Dwarfing hey, hey, little Shaquille man. O'Neal. <laughs> hey, Shaq, hey, Shaq, he might have gave it to you. Hey, little we'll man. talk about that when he leaves. We'll talk about that when he leaves. We're coming back with more. <laughs> tell Bona I said, what's All up, All-Star Saturday night on TNT.